Hi and welcome to this QuickBooks training video from Tracy Bressler CPA. We're going to take a quick look at creating a backup in QuickBooks. Every once in a while we run into someone that's got a question about exactly how to do that and this video will show you exactly how to create that backup in QuickBooks. So to do that I'm going to go to the file pull down menu here in the upper left and when I click on that, I get this uh, sub-menu, and I'm going to pick the fourth item here, which is Save, Copy, or Backup. This window opens, which gives me several choices. These are different ways I could save my QuickBooks file. A backup copy, which you notice is selected, and so is the default. Uh, a portable company file. A portable company file is similar to a backup, but the compression is much greater so that a QuickBooks uh, file, generally the portable company file will be about 10% of the size of the QuickBooks company file. Uh, it's not to be used in place of a backup, but every once in a while it's handy if you need to get a file compressed down to the smallest size that you possibly can in order to get that to your accountant or to another location or something like that. Portable company file will give you a very small compact file and then an accounts copy which we've actually covered in other videos. So we're going to leave backup selected here and go to next. Then we have a choice here. There is a um, service that Intuit offers where you can back up online. There is a fee uh, for that, although it's a very reasonable fee. It's something worth thinking about. Uh, online backups of course gets the backup out of your place of business or your office so that if anything happened to um, the entire office, if there were a fire or something, um, you would not lose the backup. You would, uh, you would still have that viable backup uh, at an online location. We're going to do a local backup though since that is the most common. So that is selected and I will click on next. And then QuickBooks wants to know where we want that backup solved and this is where I get the most questions from people, okay, you know, what do I do with it at this point? Well, I'm going to click on this Browse button, and I have inserted a flash drive into a USB port on my computer, and that's where I'm going to put the backup copy. And so that is right here, that drive letter E. I will select that and click on OK. So drive letter E, that flash drive is where that backup will save. There's some other options here, fairly uh, self-explanatory. You can review these sometimes, but we're going to add the date and the time to the backup. Sure, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, number of backups to this folder. So if I were repeatedly backing up to the same location, how many copies do I want kept? Those kinds of things. Generally, complete verification is selected, and I will leave that. That just means it's going to verify the data as it backs up, and that's a good idea to do that. So I click OK. It wants to know if I want to schedule this for later or save it now. We will choose Save Now. Here is my flash drive. That's what I'm showing here. These are folders that are on my flash drive. I'm not going to use one of those folders. Here is the default name for the backup. QB Lesson is the name of the company file. And then here's the date and the timestamp we were looking at earlier at that option. So I will click Save. Now you notice at first it's not really backing up, it's checking the integrity of the data. And this takes a moment. Uh, often this part of it takes longer than the actual backup itself as it looks to make sure that all of the uh, data that it's going to back up has not been corrupted in some way and needs to be repaired something we will do another video on at another time is rebuilding the data in a QuickBooks company file when when something uh, some link gets broken or something like that so we'll take just a moment here okay so the verification is done there's the backup Okay, so that is now complete. 
That's all this message is telling me. I will click OK. And that's it. Now my backup is now on the flash drive. I hope that's been helpful to you. We're going to do a, another video right away here on the restore process and restore that backup that we just created. And I hope you can take a look at that video and it will kind of show you how to select a location to uh, find a, uh, a backup copy that needs to be restored and where to restore it to. So I hope you found this useful and I hope you will also take a look at the other QuickBooks training videos that we have on the uh, Tracy Bresser CPA website. Thanks.